y'all and welcome to today's video. I am going to be ranking all of the ColourPop palettes that I tried this year. My 2022 ColourPop ranking video. I'm very, very excited. I recently did a video like my top 10 must have favorite products from ColourPop. And y'all did let me know in that video when I asked if y'all wanted to see like a separate ranking all the ColourPop palettes I tried this year video. Y'all let me know you wanted to see it. So I am excited and a little like oh it's so hard to rank palettes it's so hard to pick favorites especially like some of these are so good it's so difficult to rank things but it's also super fun so i'm very excited about it i have nine color pop palettes that i tried this year and I'm, I'm just gonna rank them i'm gonna tell you what i think about each palette kind of review them for you let you know why i put them at this certain spot last year during vlogmas i did like ranking my entire ColourPop palette collection and that was super fun so if you want more ColourPop content i have a whole playlist so definitely check it out but I'm excited. I think ColourPop has launched some really, really good palettes this year. So I'm happy to talk about that. And if you're new here, I want to say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I am uploading every single day right now. So I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave. But even when we're not in Vlogmas, I upload a lot of videos every single week. So yeah, I would love it if you would subscribe because I have so many videos planned coming, all of that, but we need to rank. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. Okay. So like I said, last year I ranked all of my ColourPop palettes and this year I asked y'all in my last ColourPop top 10 video. Do you want me to rank all the palettes from ColourPop that I tried this year? Should they have their own video? And overwhelmingly y'all said yes. So since then I have been kind of like pulling all the palettes out from ColourPop that I tried this year. I've been looking at them, testing the ones that I wanted to test again, swatching them again, just, just collecting my thoughts because the top palettes were kind of easy to pick but hard to pick one over the other so i'm gonna pop the number here on the screen of the palette not like what where it's ranking but at the bottom i'm put this what the shell pressed powder palette so None of the palettes that I tried from ColourPop this year were bad palettes. None of them were terrible quality, anything like that. I think ColourPop put out some good palettes, some great palettes, and some amazing palettes. But none of the ones I tried at least are bad palettes. This one for me, it just, it fell a little short in terms of what I know ColourPop can do. Now, a lot of my ranking is of course personal preference also of course it is like we all pick our favorites for different reasons but with this palette i was super hopeful with it because i felt like it went from very light to a very dark but i will say i think this shade looks a little bit darker in the pan on the eyes it's much more mid-tone which is fine but it does kind of limit the type of looks i can do with this palette it. After playing with it more and more, I feel like the looks that I get are very mid-tone and I find myself wanting to pull in a deeper, darker shade. Now, all the palettes I'm going to talk about, I do have videos here on YouTube or on Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to see swatches of these palettes, you want to see like up close of the palette, all of that. I have videos on my channel. Check out my ColourPop playlist, head over to Instagram, TikTok. You'll find content with these. So just to let you know, this is just a ranking, but if you want swatches, all of that, I do have that type of content. But this palette, okay, I like this shimmery, vanilla, sparkly type shade. I really like this like pink duochrome gold type of shade that we have here. I, I think 
there are some shades in this that are really pretty but overall I don't feel like this is the best quality that ColourPop can do and overall the color story fell a little flat for me I think if they had added in like a deep dark kind of like burnt red shade that would have been pretty in here because then I could have mixed it with these peachy pinks and got something a little more colorful and dark and then I would also have this brown to make more neutral looks but as it is I just don't find myself reaching for this one a ton Okay, next up I have Bon Voyage. Now this palette I thought was good. It was in the good, almost to great, but not amazing for me. I thought it was really good. Again, none of these palettes I'm saying are terrible. And if I rank your favorite towards the bottom of my ranking, it's totally okay. I'm not saying you don't have good taste in makeup. I'm just sharing with you like my personal preferences. And this palette kind of, again, I thought that these shades down here would be a bit darker than they are. But even this deep dark gray, this is the darkest, deepest shade in the palette. I need something just a little bit deeper and I would like a little more variety in the depth of this palette because overall we have this row up here of very light shades and then everything else is pretty mid-tone. Again, this is pretty deep, but I don't want to reach for a gray to deepen up my looks every time I use this palette. I like that we have some color I do really like that's why I bought this palette I was like ooh, this is a colorful palette it looks like we have a good mix of mattes shimmers metallics so I like it for that we also have this like glitter type shade which I don't hate I don't hate this but yeah I wish I would love to like maybe get rid of this pressed glitter right here and exchange it for like a deep dark navy blue I think maybe we could have swapped out another shade like maybe we could have lost one of these one of these two shades and got like a deep dark plum shade something like that would have just given more versatility to this palette overall I just feel like I can create mid-tone looks with this one very pretty though if if you like this color story I think you will like it I will say this shade right here curious soul I had to work with it a little bit more than I have to work with some other shadows I could definitely make it pretty but it wasn't like my favorite so for that reason this one's coming in a little bit more to the bottom of the ranking Okay, next I have the C3PO palette from ColourPop. I really like this palette. First of all, I will basically buy any of these Star Wars palettes that ColourPop does because the quality in them have been really, really good. And I just think they're so cute and I wanna keep my little Star Wars characters together. The quality of this palette is excellent. This is the amazing ColourPop quality in my opinion. Every single shade performs beautifully on the eyes. It swatches beautifully. I love that we have this super shock shade up here. I like this brown is actually a deep dark brown. I like the mix of browns and yellows. I love that we have some yellow, yellow, yellow golds in here. The only reason this is coming in a little bit lower is just the color story. I don't reach for it quite as much as I would some of the other palettes, but quality wise, this is amazing color pop quality. Really, really enjoy it. I like that we have light mattes, mid-tone mattes, and deep mattes. I love that there are plenty of shimmer options in here. I do feel like of course, this is a brown and yellow gold palette, but I do still feel like I can create some different looks with this color story. Just, yeah, this is overall a really, really good palette. If you're looking for a color story like this, I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Okay, next up, I have All Amethyst. I bought this palette, I want to say this launched in like January or February, yeah? I bought this at Ulta, and I really like this palette so this is 
this cardboard packaging that ColourPop does, I'm pretty sure, yeah, most of the palettes that I'm going to talk about are in this cardboard type packaging. I really, really like it. And I like this theming. I was kind of hoping ColourPop would do some more palettes in this style. Nine pans with these big round pans. I was hoping we would get different gemstones. I was thinking maybe we'll get like sapphire or ruby, but they didn't carry on with that. Maybe maybe in the future. I was hopeful. But my palette, I bought this, I want to say I bought this in store at Ulta. I may be wrong. Anyways, I think this is a really great quality palette. I think the cooler tones are so pretty. I really like, again, we have this like duochrome shade in here. Definitely go watch the video if you want to see this palette in action. But this is like a white to blue type of shade. I really, really like that. Almost like a blue purple. Very, very like cool tone purple. We have a beautiful, more like it's almost like a vanilla with a little bit of a purple undertone. I love this kind of like matte with a ton of sparkle formula. I like that if you want, like, of course you can go cool tone purple with this, but if you want to create something very neutral leaning, if you want to kind of stay away from these purples, you can just put this all in the crease in the outer corner. Go on with this shade on the lid and inner corner and you have a two a two shadow look that's very easy and very cool tone neutral. So I think that makes this palette versatile and I do like when palettes are versatile. This shade down here I think is really beautiful. Every shade in this palette performed so, so well for me and I've really enjoyed it. Okay, now we are in the top five and I have to say this wait and see quad really surprised me because I saw so many people loving the quads from ColourPop that were in this like acrylic packaging and the only quad I had ever tried from ColourPop like this was part of their I want to say it was some type of like ice cream collection and I had a blue one I'll see if I can pop up a photo of it but I had one that was like half blue and half neutral and I did not love it I felt like one of the shades in there was pretty bad, pretty difficult to use. And when you only have four pans, having one shade that doesn't perform well, like that, that's really bad, right? So I was a little hesitant to try more of the quads, but I saw they kept getting good reviews. So I was like, let me try another one. And the quality of this is so good y'all. If you want to try blue shadows, you're not somebody who normally likes blue. You don't want to spend an arm and a leg, but you really want to just try blues. Try this quad. Try this quad because these are so good. And I find with blues, a lot of times when people like in my like day-to-day face-to-face life, uh, people that don't like blues, a lot of times like I'll ask them what they're using and a blue shadow has to be good because if you just have this like patchy sheer blue that you're trying to build up and work with, I can understand why it will turn people off to blues because for me, if you're going blue, you want to go blue and that's what this palette is. It's very pigmented. You do not have to work to get this shadow to be opaque on the eyes and I love that. When I want to go in with the navy in the outer corner, I want it to be navy. I want it to be there but even with the pigmentation being so good, it's not hard to use. I can blend it out easily and I just don't have to fight with these shadows. They just do what they need to do. They get the job done. I love that we have two shimmers here and I just think very pretty. We have a mid-tone matte, a deep matte, and then two kind of mid-tone shimmers with this one being a bit deeper. I, I really enjoy it. It's a selection of four shades so of course you're not going to have tons of variety in the looks you can do but the quality of these four are so so good so listen if you're scared of blue shadows and you want to try some you've been eyeing color pop quads this one's really good okay coming in at number four i put the darth vader palette this again 
any of the palettes that I've tried from the Star Wars line have been really good. I haven't had issues with any of them. I did buy the Child palette and the Mandalorian palette last year and really enjoyed these. So with the Darth Vader, we have this nice mirror. We have the characters here and th this is good. This is a good cool toned palette. If you are into cool tones, but you want a little bit of like cool tone with a twist. I like this and I say with the twist because they included this red which I think was really really smart because it, it just gives you versatility and they also included like this red burgundy it's hard to say like cool tone red but it just fits with these grays and it provides like a nice contrast to the grays so if you just want to stick with like gray shadows you can do that you can definitely get a more gray look but if you want to incorporate a little color you can add in these two shades and I think it's so nice again we have the inclusion in here of a super shock shadow I really love that formula I really like that we have light shades mid-tone shades shades, deep shades, neutrally grays, and color. I, I really, really like this. This is a fun, cool toned palette. And if you're looking for cool tones, I definitely recommend this one. I just really think the formulas in here are so, so nice. I know a lot of people like to wear kind of like toned down looks sometimes. And I think you could definitely do that. If you want to create something that's still going to be very beautiful, but not overly dramatic, if you just stick with these three shades on the top row, you're going to create something very, very easy, but still very nice. And you're not going to struggle to work with these shadows. This is such a good palette from ColourPop. Okay, at number three, I have the Play It Jewel palette. I think this is the only palette that I'm going to talk about that I don't have a video here on YouTube. I do have a video over on TikTok and Instagram with this palette though. And this is one of their mega palettes. I usually don't gravitate towards the mega palettes from ColourPop. I kind of like their cur curated color stories a bit better, but this one I really enjoy. So first of all, I love this like kaleidoscope packaging. Love, love, love that. But then opening it up, you see it's a massive, but you do get a lot of bang for your buck in this palette. We have neutrals and we have some really pretty jewel tones. And I like that a lot. We have these like first two rows that are very neutral you know they're very light to mid-tone and i like that we have these more like vanilla type of shades we have some pinky tones here we have some more yellow warm golds over here and then we get to like the bottom three rows of the palette and this is kind of my personal favorite section because to me this like what I'm wearing today is a pretty neutral look you know like it was very easy to do uh, but with this like the bottom three rows just call to me I love to wear color I, I think it's so so fun I do love neutrals as well like but, but this, like looking at this palette, this section is what my eyes go to. And I've had a good experience with these shades, specifically these kind of pinky purples, I think are so nice. But I also love that we get, like if you're looking at a palette like this and you're getting overwhelmed, you can stick to columns for sure. And just say, you know, I'm gonna stick with these five shades. And specifically this column on this side of the palette, you can create a very warm look that will be easy, but not bland I love that we have this orange this yellow we have a brown here and then we have this more kind of like orangey gold shade and then this light shade here I think you can do that with every row in the palette and just kind of limit yourself to those five shades if you feel overwhelmed looking at this you could also break this palette down in quads these four shades these four shades this quad right here I think is really fun with the pinky mid-tone matte the deep purple matte the blue metallic and the purple metallic we have this blue bronze blue bronze no blue brown shade right here I think this color story, even though it's large, okay, it's large. I personally, if I was like going to make this palette, I would curate it a little bit more. And that's why it's not ranking a little bit higher, but it's still coming in at number three because 
the shadows in here perform so well. They're really truly beautiful and I've enjoyed working with this palette every time I've reached for it. Okay, so far the ranking was somewhat easy to me. Like ranking is always difficult but you know I'm like okay these 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 but the top two were the hardest both of these could be number one hear me now both of these palettes could be the number one palette but as it is with ranking only one can be number one and one has to be two so it, it pains me, it pains me, but the number two palette is the Hocus Pocus 2 palette. This is called All Hallows Eve. In my opinion, this is the best Hocus Pocus palette that ColourPop has done. They've done three now and I love it. I love, love, love this. I think this, the quality of this palette is amazing. This is, to me, this and the number one palette is like the best that ColourPop does. I think this is so amazing. And one of the things that I really love about it is we have this cool tone column here. We have this more like brown column here. And then we have some color. This is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do have this tutorial, either it's on TikTok now or it's coming, but I love that we have oranges, greens, purples. I love the embossings on the pan. This silver is next level beautiful, but one of my favorite shades actually is this one. Definitely watch my video on this collection. This has like green and blue and different color like reflex in it that make it so, so pretty. I absolutely love this palette. I think the quality is amazing. I hope ColourPop continues with this. I love the packaging. I love that we have the Sanderson sisters up here. I love the names of the shadows. But if I take out the fact that I love Hocus Pocus, if this was a palette without the Hocus Pocus theming, this is an amazing palette with a beautiful, beautiful color story. I love that we have a good mix of mattes and shimmers. We have mattes here, matte with the sparkle here, and these two shades are so intense. I love it. Like I said, it could be the number one palette, but only one palette can be number one. And a lot of you, I feel like, probably guessed my top two palettes. I have to put the Star Wars palette at number one. This is so good. This is just the Star Wars pressed powder palette. I love, I love the old school packaging, but this palette to me is so good. And I want to tell you quickly why I love it, because I know I've talked about this palette quite a bit on my channel. I love, we have a matte black, we have a matte deep dark red, we have a matte navy, we have this not very dark, but darker than mid-tone brown with sparkle. We have two more mid-tone browns. We have this very cool toned neutral shade and we have color red and blue. We have a silvers, this silver, beautiful. We have some gold in here. This is like a silvery blue green duochrome type of shade. We have some super shock shadows in here that are so, so beautiful and sparkly and reflective. I also really like the size of this palette. So if you look at the nine pan palettes, they're it's that size, but just with two rows added. And I really, really like that. I like that instead of just making it the nine pan Star Wars, for this to not just be based on a character, but to be Star Wars in general, I feel like they nailed it. We have the red lightsaber, the blue lightsaber. You can create neutral looks. You can create colorful looks. I see the Star Wars inspiration here, and I think this palette is so so good. I feel like some of these palettes that I'm talking about keep coming in and out of stock on ColourPop. And I do like that ColourPop usually has like a place where you can sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock. I think that's really nice because I know the Star Wars palette does like kind of come in and out of stock. And I, I'm just, yeah, yeah. I, I really like the top two. It was so hard because both of them could be number one. And even now I'm like, 
should I've swapped them? But I, the Star Wars palette, I think it's the best that ColourPop has done this year. I would love to know what your favorite ColourPop palette is whether from this year or if you want to tell me your all-time favorite, maybe you've never tried ColourPop, definitely let me know that too. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. Rankings are always fun and stressful at the same time, but I really hope you enjoyed. I do hope that if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave me an emoji or something in the comments if you'd like. It helps me out so much and I would love to know do you want me to continue to rank palettes in 2023? Do you want me to continue to review ColourPop in 2023? I always appreciate hearing what y'all want to see on my channel, but thank you so much for watching. I already told you what palette I'm wearing on my eyes, but on my lips, I'm wearing the ColourPop. Um, this is the luxe lipstick in princess aurora and then i went on top of it with the hocus pocus 2 gloss this is the so glassy lip gloss in sisters behold <laughs> and on blush and highlight i'm wearing two from the ColourPop tinker bell collection i'm wearing the blush in darling this is the super shock cheek formula and then the super shock cheek highlighter in happy thoughts i love both both of these. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!